Hi everyone, Mark Cavanis here for another Word Music Digital Reading Session and this time we focus on senior adults yep. and Marty Parks, our favorite senior adult, is here <laughs> on the premises to tell us about Well Seasoned Praise. I will gladly wear that badge. Uh, Mark, I love senior adult choirs. Yeah. Um, they, they are so much fun and, and the truth is uh, they're not a novelty anymore. Right. They are a vital, important part of music ministries um, uh, all over. So I love writing for senior adult choirs. Mm -hmm. Well seasoned praise. We've um, we've subtitled this a smorgasbord of favorites for senior adult choirs, um, and we went all out. And we just want to have fun with that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Eight uh, general non-seasonal arrangements for senior adult choir. Mm -hmm. uh, a three-song patriotic mini musical. A bonus. Yep. Yeah. Uh, single song introductions, spoken introductions. If you wanted to use them separately. That's not all. There's also a script if you wanted to combine the eight songs that, uh, into one musical. Uh, there's a script for that. That's not all. Oh, there's well seasoned more. praise, a smorgasbord. We had to have some recipes. Of course. So we solicited and received and have printed some recipes from senior adult choir members from all over the country, yeah. uh, making this just a whole lot of fun. Yeah, and we'll tell you at the end of this presentation some ideas on how to tie all of those elements together. Yeah. But right now, yeah. what's the first song? Uh, right? First song is We Bring the Sacrifice of Praise, well known classic worship song. Uh, it's coupled with For the Beauty of the Earth, um, makes a great service opener or general anthem. We Bring the Sacrifice of praise. Well, up next, Marty, there's He Knows My Name. Yeah, yeah, uh, and most of us think of that in the praise and worship, uh, modern worship song uh, genre, uh, but with a few little rhythmic adjustments, um, it works great for senior adult choirs because uh, the message is true no matter what. Uh, I have a father who knows my name. Here's a little bit of that one.
Marty, one other great thing about this collection is that it is in the large note format, right? Yeah. It's all the easier to read. <laughs> yeah, and a big reason for that is because I'm the one writing them and I need to see what I'm writing. Exactly. But you know, the other uh, distinctive about this, which we love and we found choirs love, no repeats. There you you just keep turning pages. You never have to worry about where to come back to. Um, I know a lot of choirs would love that for a regular choir. Oh, books. no kidding. Yeah, it yeah. takes a little more paper. That's right. It's just worth it. It's worth, it's it. worth, worth the it. effort. Uh, Great is the Lord is next. And um, I got to tell you, uh, my dad wrote this song. Ah. Uh, and he was the guy that really sort of started this whole he senior sure adult did. choir sure phenomenon. Did. So uh, I'm just happy to, um, to include uh, one of his songs, sort of a gospel flavored version of one of the Psalms. Here's Great is the Lord. Marty, what's up next? Uh, May the mind of Christ my Savior. Mm -hmm. Classic, well-loved uh, hymn text uh, with, with um, uh, application that's just as pertinent today as it was when it was written. Um, wrote a new tune for it, mm -hmm. updated it a little bit. Um, lovely, lovely hymn text. Here's May the mind of Christ my Savior. Well, Marty, in any senior adult collection or musical, as you well know, vocal ranges are an issue, and so, um, as always, you've 
pay careful attention to those here. Yeah, yeah. Um, for one thing, there are real bass notes. Mm -hmm. You know, not not struggling and staying high above uh, uh, the bass clef all of the time, mm -hmm. but real good solid bass notes. And uh, and on the other end of the spectrum. Um, Sopranos, uh, limited ranges there too. In fact, there's not um, a note for sopranos over a D that isn't optional. Ah, uh, so no one gets hurt. That's right. And, this, <laughs> <laughs> and, and everybody feels good about what they bring to that. Uh, and here's a great example of um, uh, of that careful attention to ranges uh, in the Gaither classic, Jesus is Lord of All. Well, it's always fun to have a uh, eclectic blend of mm -hmm. styles, and we got a little Southern Gospel happening, right? We do, we do. Yes, I know is um, is an old favorite in a lot of older hymnals. Mm -hmm. um, updated a little bit, gave uh, gave the guys some good melodic lead on yeah. this. For yes, I know.
Marty, you're such a pro at bringing in different hymns and pieces of uh, songs so seamlessly, and such is the case with this next arrangement. Yeah, yeah, this is Glory to His Name, Down at the Cross Where My Savior Died, Glory to His Name. And it just it just felt natural to go into, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, Blessed Be the Name of the Lord. Just combine them together. A couple of key changes, but the same tempo, same feel, up, bright, energetic, a lot of fun to sing. Marty, let's go down to the island. I got a little yeah. island feel for this next one. Wonderful words of life. Yeah, wonderful words of life. Instead of in 6 8, just kind of elongated in 4 4. And it just, yeah, it kind of has that easy island vibe to it. And yeah. um, again, easy to get. The notes are all accessible. Um, it just feels different, it feels fresh because it's in a different meter. So here's wonderful words of life.
You know, Marty, I remember when we were conceiving this book and talking about it, you had the idea through some conversations with ministers of music on your own mm -hmm. that there's a need for patriotic material for senior yeah. adults. And so instead of creating a separate musical, we kind of thought it'd be a great idea to include it within this collection. So talk right. about that. Yeah, yeah. We still believe today um, uh, it's more like an affirmation. Uh, with everything that's going on in the world and, and in our country, unfortunately, uh, this is an affirmation. We still believe. Three songs, so it can be um, uh, incorporated in a regular worship service. Don't have to spend uh, hours and hours and hours and hours in putting together a big, big concert or musical. Three songs, patriotic mini musical. Uh, the first one, the title song, uh, the lyrics were written by a good friend of mine, Deborah Grubbs, uh, who sings in the choir at my church. Mm -hmm. We've written a lot of songs together. Um, felt really right to use this to open up We Still Believe Today. Well, what's next in the patriotic mini-musical, Marty? Well, um, it felt like to me that we needed um, a scriptural reference. Mm. Um, Second Chronicles 7.14 mm -hmm. is referred to a lot of my people Classic. who are called by my name. Um, here's a great text set to an early American hymn tune. Mm. So it has that kind of Americana feel to it. Yeah. Um, if my people's hearts are humbled. My face ...and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land.
So here's the final song of the three song mini musical and what is that song, Marty? Uh, this is a setting of the doxology with a, with a new verse that kind of culminates the theme, uh, but it just felt right to, um, to offer an expression of praise God from whom all blessings flow. And if someone chooses to do all three songs together with the optional narrative, how long of a package would that be? You know, it's about 12 minutes, something okay. like that. Very three, three, yeah, Oh yeah, absolutely. It depends on the time you take you know, in, in the narrations part, but um, I, I'd say about 12 minutes. Okay, okay, so here's the final song to the patriotic mini-musical of Doxology. Yep. Your people are thankful, and yes, we believe. Amen. Praise God.